Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Let's see, we've got a battle here. New Haven versus Bay High. Simple one-on-one -on -one, uh, light cruiser fight. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. And the loading here should be pretty quick, since it's only a 1v1. There we go. Already have them spotted. They're firing back. What kind of torpedoes do they have? Might not be relevant. I'm already uh, doing a lot of flooding. Let's stick with AP and uh, get some more of that flooding. Oh yeah, this cruiser is being picked apart. Let's turn in case of torpedoes. And there she goes. That was, uh, yeah, that was quick and easy. Longfang class. It's got um, one triple eight inch gun. Would have been interesting to take a close look at this. Uh, Sadly, it just uh, disappeared bec before it was identified. And that was it for July of 1944. Yeah, this invasion is going well. Let's just keep going. And people seem to like me. That is nice. Submarines. They don't seem to like me. Uh, light damage on USS Philippines. But I sunk two out of three and damaged the third one. Let's strike. And we have another battle. With a battleship Gong class. And a couple of Longfangs. It's the Iowa and Wisconsin. Well, Iowa, Wisconsin, and um, some other ships, but I think the Iowa and Wisconsin are the ones uh, that are gonna do most of the work here. Let's send my escorts home. Mm, they don't really need to do anything. Actually, let's also turn off your torpedoes. Just so we don't have any uh, embarrassing accidents. Atlanta and Worcester, you can also... Uh, kind of go away. Already scoring uh, some big hits on something. I'm almost guessing these are the uh, the light cruisers I'm hitting. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the battleship. Now let's just get the light cruisers out of the way first. And uh, the light cruisers are uh, no longer in the way. Was that a flash fire I saw? No. Just a fire, I guess. The 
let's get a uh, a thumbnail. Like this. And now just uh, wash the fireworks. Yeah, I suspected my my battle wagons are kind of overpowering this uh, poor gong class. Although it is actually uh, it is firing back. Which is at least something. As I've said in, uh, in previous episodes when encountering these, if only they had something bigger than 13 inch gums. Components like the rangefinder and radar and stuff is also good. Actually, Iowa. Maybe it's better if you just detach and sail in a straight line instead of zigzagging, trying to follow the uh, the Wisconsin. Trying to uh, run away, but it's not really working out. And there she goes. Because even at that angle, uh, when she open up, opens up the range, I do have enough deck pen to just go straight through it. Even though it actually has decent deck armor. But the Mark 516 is just, just that good. And that was it for uh, for August. No transports lost. Let's see. We still got 100% here. That's excellent. Because they've, the Chinese have not gotten any. Um, any of their ships into the invasion zone. This is up to 59%, which is also very good. So, I'm gonna get Burma. Probably in, uh, I guess, a couple of months. And this one in three months. Well, a couple of months. Uh, I don't know, half a year, maybe. And then it's on to uh, southern China. Because I am considering maybe uh, maybe just wiping out China from the map. Yeah, I might just do that. Let's see. Uh, minus 86 with Britain. 23 battleships, 6 battlecruisers. That is uh, kind of impressive. 
their GDP is still going down, their uh, economy is tanking. They have plenty of naval funds, so they're not going to go bankrupt anytime soon. Uh, 68%. My economy is still growing, although slowly, because I am at war. This is all. Uh, this is all fine. Turret mechanisms. Even better reload uh, gun aiming speed. I, this is good, but it's also in. Uh, it's also increasing my weight. That's why I'm focusing on on this stuff. Makes my ship uh, ships lighter. So I don't um, run into the problem of um, refitting a ship, and then suddenly it's more uh, it's heavier. So I have to change stuff to um, to make it work. Although I don't really think I'm gonna refit that many more ships now. Because there's really not that much um, much technology I need to uh, need to add to my ships. Minus seven with Britain, minus seven with Russia. And we have a small battle. New Haven against another Long Fung. I guess this is also gonna be quite quick. And there's also a torpedo boat that I will just send home. Now let's find the enemy cruiser. Oh, there she is. Oh, was it spotted the whole time? And that's why I didn't see a green arrow. Possibly. Oh, uh, well, yeah. AP worked very well last time, so let's just force AP from the start. I'm thinking these do not have that much um, armor. And my shells are hitting. Yeah, I'm getting the uh, the massive range found bonus. Turn in case of um, torpedoes. Uh, it's too late. It sank. Yeah, these uh, seem to be very fragile. Like, yeah, they're a hundred million cheaper than my my New Havens. But but still. And that was it for. Uh, <laughs> September, I guess. Uh, Wichita, that's a museum ship. You cannot have it. It's old anyway, you don't want it. 67% up from 59. Okay, so we're really making progress here. Let's see, while I remember... New Hampshire. You're gonna resume. While... Truxton will be suspended. Only two months until the uh, the San Diego class is finished. And then I will not have a problem with... Um, shipyard capacity. So that's nice.
That is very nice. Uh, armor forging? What this? Oh yeah, lighter armor. Let's boost that. Oh, we're uh, we're taking laws too. That's fine. Because this is a region I can't even naval invade. Because it doesn't have a coastline. Let's go, October. And we have some more submarines. Very nice, very nice. Striking Fort Bayard. And another Gong class. Two more Langfangs and a DD. Alright. So, same plan as last time, just get the light cruisers out of the way and then kill the battleship. Alright. Lots of ships that don't really need to be here. Sending the DDs home. Even you here on the flank, you don't need to be here. Uh, light cruisers actually don't need to be here. The heavy cruisers? I'm thinking I'm gonna let them be here. Missoula class. Uh, let's bring all the battleships as well. Washington, North Carolina kind of being uh, a little bit slower than the United States. Let's see, what kind of range are we uh, firing at? 42 kilometers. 43. Which means these do not have the range yet. Even with their kind of big 11 inch guns. Since I did guess I didn't let the um, the United States class super battleship be on the thumbnail last time, I think I selected another one. It can be this time. So there. That's the one. My heavy cruisers are opening up on the light cruisers. So they're not going to last long. Uh, North Carolina, you can actually just uh, finish off that DD. Ooh. <laughs> what? Was that the uh, was that the battleship? No, it was not the battleship. This is the battleship. They were all firing at the DD. <laughs> okay. Okay. I just assumed they were firing at the battleship, but no. 
They were not firing at the battleship. So I'll zoom in to look at what kind of impressive damage my 18 inch did to the big battleship. To like take it out in one hit like that, but no, it was it was a DD. And you kinda expect those to uh to actually get taken out by an 18 inch shell. Are you not firing? Aggressive. AP. There we go. And that was it for uh, for the light cruisers. And the enemy battleship is already half dead. Well, more than half dead now. What kind of guns did the most to the battleship? 16s, 20,000, 18s, 14,000. But then again, I had twice as many 16 inch guns firing at it as 18s, so. It kind of makes sense. Seasoned. What did you do so much? Yeah, that's the DD. <laughs> DD took uh, 119,000 damage. Uh, Britain is having rebellion problems. Netherlands is having rebellion problems. Albany museum ship, you cannot have it. Sorry, Pakistan. 70%. Oh, looks like the Chinese got reinforcements. Oh, this is still at zero. That's not good. Um, Yeah, gonna launch another naval invasion against... Southern China, maybe? Britain, minus 93. So we're gonna have a war with them very, very soon. Hong Kong or Southern China first? Let's take Hong Kong first. Don't think it's gonna take long. They have an armory logistics of 7%. Uh, mine is at 80. Uh, Britain is at 17. It's not very good. Yeah, they're building quite an impressive fleet. And I've seen um, 
some of the ships there are laying down. It's a lot more battleships and battlecruisers. Also heavy and light cruisers. So thankfully not just torpedo boats and submarines. They were actually building, uh, building the big stuff. And they do also now have the Mark IV 19 inch. So yeah, that could be uh, it could be dangerous to go up against. Let's see. Let's quickly look before. Uh, yeah, Russia kind of doesn't like me, but it's not like a huge... Uh, they don't absolutely hate me or anything. Kind of naval reform 8. Let's just, let's just keep that focused. Because it's making all the stuff I need to get better, uh, better. It's helping with naval invasions and stuff. Yeah, let's go to November and see if we get Kwangtao Wan. Alright, and we are striking Fort Bayard, which is now mine, but as long as I own the port, I don't do any port damage, but I still sink the transports, so... So far, so good. Uh, Pakistan wants to buy more torpedo boats. That's fine. Victory in Kwangtao Wan. Memphis. Uh, that's a museum ship. So no, you cannot have it. Let's move into the zone. Like so. Progress here is 75%, 4%. Okay, it's, it's slow going, but it's going. I killed 400,000 Chinese in Burma. Still lost 75,000 of my own troops, though, so that's, uh, when you think about it, that's, that's quite a heavy toll. I think that's more than the U.S. lost in Vietnam. But, but for me, it's just a number. It's army stuff. not really going too well for Britain, so uh, what's their unrest level at? 52. That's why they're having uh, rebellions all over. I just don't know why they can't improve that uh, GDP growth. Because they haven't been at war with anyone for a while now, so they should have enough time to, to rebuild their uh, their transport fleet. But I guess they haven't. Let's go to December. Let's do the strike first. And by the way, I saw uh, Spain building a bunch of new battlecruisers. Also, Japan now has the Mark IV 18 inch. So they could actually build a pretty powerful Yamato type battleship. Although, unless that would happen to be a shared assignment, it would probably not be very good. Iraq is rebelling. If Britain loses Iraq... Uh, yeah, you can have that one. If Britain loses Iraq, they lose a lot of oil. Yeah. 
three new battlecruisers. Venganza class. Shoho. Shoho class. Might that be armed with 18s? be interesting to know. Yeah, even controlling all that oil, their economy is just uh, shrinking. 78%. Yeah, that uh, advance is slowing down. Let's see, yeah. I can now resume construction of the trucks done. Which, by the way, I'm gonna need uh, new names for a lot of these. Because I think some of them are um, repeats. The thing is, if I, for example, uh, name one of my ships the USS South Dakota the game is gonna think oh the name South Dakota is available because this one is named USS South Dakota with the USS so kinda kinda shooting myself in the foot with the prefixes here mmm yeah 7% we're gonna keep going uh, I could provoke the British into going to war. But they are really struggling a lot already. Where is that huge navy of theirs? Oh, it's here. And here. And here. And... <laughs> and here also, I guess. Yeah, let's go to 1945 then. Ooh, economy is growing. Let's put that into uh, GDP because I've got enough naval budget. Um, exchange. Got enough money. I can just pay them off. Mm, all right, all right, all right. More rebellions in Britain or British colonies. Still 100%. 11, 86, went up by quite a bit. How's my relation with Britain? Still minus 93. And their economy is still uh, kind of tanking. So we'll see. I, I kind of hope they get that stuff under control because it would be uh, it would be fun to fight them, like if they have a uh, proper functioning economy. I guess we're just clicking through the turns. They do have a fleet here, so we should be able to get a battle with this one battle cruiser, eleven lights, eleven torpedo boats. Yeah, they do have ships. How many do they have in um, in total? Ooh, 61. I should be able to get a fight. Hopefully. Let's see, do I have any uh, available uh, ships sitting around here? Same museum ship. Uh, 
I can send these. Uh, let me just rename them first. Okay, they are renamed and ready to uh, head out. And I just want to keep these sitting in Manila, I think. Uh, okay, the light cruisers are still commissioning. But the San Diego class... I can go out and just sit in Manila. And hopefully generate some missions. Now let's keep going and see if we actually get a war with Britain. I could provoke them to make it go faster, but... I just want to see what happens. And what happens is a port strike. So that was that. Uh, Memphis, still a museum ship. Japan is really building. Uh, two new uh, Shohol class battleships. China is building lots of stuff too. As is Britain. Uh, they did scrap a ship though. Battlecruiser Hector from 1935. If that was me, I would just give it a proper refit. Because it's probably on a modern enough hull that you could uh, make it somehow use useful. Yeah, let's see Burma. Well, it's got oil. And I should get it in a month or two now. So I've been saying for a couple of months. Fine, let's go to March then. We got a convoy battle. Uh, China is accusing me for war crimes. Nah, me? Uh, pay some money. I've got money. Submarines first. Strike. Uh, yeah, you can have torpedo boats. Pakistan. Russia is provoking me. All right. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, convoy. It worked. My new San Diego uh, cruisers are drawn into battle because I'm keeping them in a port here. Gong class and Longfang guarding nine transports. Let's do this. Now, heavy cruisers versus battleship. And while the 13-inch uh, the guns on the battleship have not really been um, sufficient to deal with my battleships, I think it's going to be pretty much ideal to deal with heavy cruisers. Which is kind of scary. Because heavy cruisers is all I have. I'm wondering if my 11s can punch through... I would have to get really close to punch through the main belt. I think they've got like 7.5 inches of main belt armor. So it would have to be the extended belts. And they're uh, focusing the light cruiser first. Which is fine. And they're 
firing HD, but I think the armor on that light cruiser is light enough that my HD can actually pan it. I'm not sure. They tend to not live long enough for me to identify them. But I am causing flooding. Keep keep killing it. Then the transports. Pretty much dead. So, are we just gonna kill the transports and ignore the battleship? I mean, it's an option. But it's not very satisfying, so let's actually. Um, See what we can do about that battleship. Give it at least a couple of salvos. I am causing flooding. Okay, then stick with AP. Stick with AP. It's flat on. Causing lots of floodings. At 18 kilometers. That must be the extended belt I'm going through. Let's get it identified. I don't remember exactly what kind and how thick armor it had. This might not be such a bad idea after all. Uh, no, I, yeah, I can pen this. At least the four and a half belts. At 15 point something inches. 15.6. 5,000 meters. I can go through the main belt. It's got a very thick citadel though. Hey, are, are you gonna open up with your secondaries, guys? Oh my god, look at all the numbers. I'm sorry, uh, Sing Chu. I think you failed at protecting your convoy. <laughs> that was the convoy. What kind of secondary armament did I give these cruisers? It's quite, yeah, that's uh, it's quite the heavy secondary armament. No wonder those uh, transports just disintegrated. When you think about it, this is basically, in terms of firepower, a 
equivalent of uh, four Scharnhorst class battleships. So maybe not that outmatched versus the uh, the Gong class. Uh, let's bring them in closer. Let's uh, let's end this. Oh no! Wait, it's sinking. Oh yeah, I was getting main deck pens. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> Very impressive work by by the uh, the San Diego class. I did not actually expect them to pick apart the battleship like that. Okay, let's see how my invasions are going. Still 100% here, 98% here, so we're gonna get Burma next turn. Uh, Laos is actually picking up speed as well. Let's see, Britain still minus 93, Russia down to minus 42. They're kind of looking for a fight, by the looks of it. And my port is finished, shipbuilding capacity has increased to 1 million tons. Let's uh, increase it some more. This force is still sitting here. But I think that's it for uh, for this episode. I don't think the running time of the video is mm, that long, but it sure has taken, uh, taken some time to record, because I hit pause on my recording whenever I click next turn. So for you it's almost instantaneous, but for me it's uh, a lot of uh, a lot of waiting. But it's gotten better in the latest uh, patch, but loading a turn still takes a while. Hopefully it's not going to take that long until my the next episode. So I think I have some time to play over the weekend. Goodbye, and take care.